So let's go on to the history or the inception of math. You know, I'm pretty good with words. There's a constellation out there. Who knows that Bible scripture, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed or holy be thy name, thy kingdom come. What is that? Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. Right? Don't be afraid now. I know we got religious folk in here. I'm not going to attack the Bible. I'm not into that. I just want to make a point. Heaven is the Greek word for what? Oranos. Which comes from what? Orion. Which is what? A constellation. When you see the word heaven in the Bible, when you see the word heaven in the Bible, it is literally the word Orenos, which is Orion, which is a constellation you can see up in the sky. It's three dots called the belt of Orion that correspond or were built, or three pyramids were built, okay, to identify with those three stars, Anitak, Anilam, and Mintaka. And the three pyramids of Giza or Giza. Kufu, Kafre, and Minku Arli. So why do we care about heaven being called Orion? Because heaven has a place now. So we ask people, where's heaven? They say the furthest, 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 furthest until they get to their tongue to get tied and it's further star. You can't reach heaven. You only can go there. That stuff is crazy, talking crazy like that. That's not mathematics. Where's heaven, brother? Because if God has a throne, God has buttocks. And if the angels are wearing white remnant or white robes, then they have sewing machines. And I want to know, are niggas picking cotton in heaven? <laughs> because all the pictures look like white people when I go into churches. Just imagine that you died, and here it is, you picking cotton. <laughs> now people say, you're making a mockery of the Bible. Am I really? People say, how come there's so much problems in black organizations? You're going to tell me that the devil can cause hell in God's kingdom, get casted out and brought down to planet Earth. And you want to ask, how come there's hell on planet Earth? The angels have more knowledge than you. The devil can cause hell in God's kingdom and get sent down here to planet Earth. And you want to ask, how come there's problems on planet Earth? The word heaven in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 is Orenos, Greek word. Orion, O-R-I-O-N, and you can look at it because it's getting closer and closer every day before you can see it in the stars. You can see it in the sky. So that shows you that thy kingdom is coming. And in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 8, it says a day that God is likened to a thousand, a thousand likened to a day. Scientists have proven that a day in Orion is equal to 1,000 years in earth time. Again, substantiating the reason or the claim that that is heaven. According to who, though? Not according to Christians, Muslims, or Jews, but according to the Egyptians, Tamaranes, who never called themselves Egyptians. But why is this important? Because in Moorish Arabic and in Egyptian cultures, they call that place Orenos, which we call heaven, Algebra. And beings came down from Algebra. If you read Genesis chapter 6, verse 2, and Genesis chapter 6, verse 4, you will see giants came in onto the daughters of men. Genesis chapter 6, verse 2, and Genesis chapter 6, verse 4. Why is this significant? Because the word for giant is gibberine, or gibberine in Hebrew. And a gibberine, or gibberine, is one from algebra. Why does that matter? Gibberines mean giants because the original people were tall the niggas, or tall heights or very short people, pygmies. And the beings that came down were evolutionary tall heights or produced evolutionary tall heights by way of the integration because they came from Orion. It was much, much more taller with 50 chromosomes instead of 46. We missing some, but that's a whole nother situation. But why does this matter? Because when these gibberines or one in particular came down from algebra, which they call gibra L, or Gibrael, he taught them the science and the mathematics of the earth. And they later called it algebra. Now you don't have to believe me. Look it up, Moorish Arabic. There are people on the planet who call Orion, what the Bible calls heaven, or Orenos, that constellation, algebra. And the Bible does have a gibberine or gibberine. And if you read the Egyptian doctrine, that also identifies with algebra, 
you will come to find or realize what? That they say that those beings from that planet taught the mathematics. So we know that math is what? God's language. That's all I'm trying to say. Mathematics is God's language. Said all that just to say, whoever you calling God, you can't be thinking foolish because your God is way too intelligent for that. Came down and sent beings in his personas to teach mathematics. <laughs>